What's up guys? I decided I wanted to film a little nighttime routine slash during quarantine slash not really in quarantine because I still go to work and I still hang out with my friends just with a mask and being safe. I live in Florida. We're in like phase, I don't know what, so we're not forced to stay home, so. But I know a lot of places are still in quarantine, so I don't know what I'm the title is. You'll just have to wait to find out. I've never done a nighttime routine, I think, on my channel ever in the history of me on here. And I've kind of become this person who relies on a routine to kind of reset myself and get me through the day and night and I don't know I just don't feel as good as if I don't follow like my nighttime routine never thought I would become this person but I'm not really complaining 2020 despite it being a shit show has given me the opportunity to really reevaluate you know what I'm doing and given me the opportunities to build routines like this so I'm starting it it's around like 6 45 right now, which is normally when I start doing like my nighttime activities. I just got done Actually, my dad just got done helping me hang up my plant that I got for my birthday. It's fake So I won't need to water it or anything. It's just chilling, but I've been meaning to hang it up So we got it hung up. I was on the phone with my friend Tyler for a little bit. We were just catching up I also got done just putting together Bree's birthday present, which is down there in that pink box I'm about to do my hair because I need to I have work tomorrow and I have plans coming up for 4th of July weekend and I just want my hair to be done. So we're gonna do my hair right now and then I have to leave to go to Nicole's house in like an hour. So that's why I'm doing my hair and then I'm like literally leave right after doing my hair. I'm taking my handy dandy iPad with me to the bathroom so that way I can let my phone charge. So enjoy this time lapse of me straightening my hair. This is my hair before. I almost did like some sort of like TikTok transition because I'm so used to doing them for TikTok. I am now colliding the two worlds together. And it usually takes me about 45 minutes to an hour to do my hair, so that's the goal. So that way I can leave here by eight o'clock and then go to Nicole's house. Do you guys know that one TikTok trend that's going around right now where it's like some song and it's like, what is this like? If I can find the music it goes to, I know you like, just stop. I'm telling you guys, ever since I got this iPad, my life has honestly done did a full 180. It is amazing. I can now put my phone down and just use this around the house without having to lug around my laptop. It is amazing. It is great. I've been working on some super secret projects that hopefully will turn into something. I don't know. I'm not trying to get too excited yet, but it has inspired me to start something new. I don't know. Make some cool stuff. I've just always I've wanted to be that person that's like, guys, I'm working on something can tell you about it. This is me doing that. It is now 7.45 p.m. I just got done. It took me about 45 minutes, which wasn't bad. The only thing is it's storming outside, which means it's humid, which means as soon as I walk outside, my hair is probably going to poof up. I'm gonna pack a bag real quick and change into some pants so I can go to Nicole's house. And I'm bringing my bullet journal because we're probably gonna do some journaling. I've been recently going over her house like every Wednesday after work and we call it Bujo night. And we just work on our bullet journals or I bring my iPad, how I'm probably gonna do tonight. And we just work on sketching and doodling she has an Etsy shop so I'll actually have a link down below because she has been making these like custom design like frame things she actually made me one she made me this and she's been making a whole bunch she can custom design a quote or a saying so I'll actually have her shop linked down below and her Instagram you can check it out but look how freaking cute you guys know let it be is like my life mantra mantra however you say it and I really want a tattoo that says let it be so I'm thinking of getting it maybe in that font that matches my Harry Styles tattoo speaking of Etsy shops my friend Kaylee also has an Etsy shop. So she actually did this one of my Gemini Zodiac sign and then she did like the flower for June, which I think is like a rose. She also has like different ones that she does, like plants. It's like a very like nature-y style if you guys are into that. I'll have her Etsy shop linked down below as long as her Instagram. Shout out to my freaking creative friends over here doing their thing. Like I'm just surrounded by so many creative people. I'm a I love it. I love it. I'm gonna get myself ready now. I was waiting for it to stop raining and I think I finally did so that way I'm not driving in the storm. That's Florida for you. Hi guys, it is now the next day. I planned on filming this all last night, but then I went to Nicole's house and I ended up staying a lot later. I didn't realize it was already 11.30, so by the time I got home, I was just ready to go to bed. I had to work this morning. I'm picking up the video the next day, but it's fine because it's still the same routine every night. 
that's really my excuse i don't have anything better than that i just got home from work right now it's about almost 6 30 no it's not it is 6 4 p.m usually i like to jump in the shower right away just to make sure one i get hot water two i don't know showering early has just become like my new thing like i used to be such a late night shower i would wait to like the very last minute to shower before bed but now i have to shower like early in the day because then it just makes me feel like calm relax i'm like winding down i'm gonna show you guys the products that i use in the shower as well this is what i look like after work after i had to deal with nasty mean customers all day i'm just going to show you now before i turn on the shower what i use on a typical night I will first start off by washing my face. I use the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. I try to wash my face twice a day. If I'm feeling in the morning, if I'm not tired enough, I will. I always wash my face at night, whether I'm wearing makeup or not. I move on to body wash. I use the St. Ives Oatmeal Shea Butter. This is like the best body wash ever. I have really sensitive skin. It's like the only thing that doesn't break my skin out. And then sometimes, this is like a once every other week type thing, I will use this Summer's Eve wash for we all know exactly why. This is me post shower. I'm now gonna show you guys how I go about cleaning my face at night. As I just mentioned, I never, ever in my entire life have followed a skincare routine. I've just always said my skin is naturally beautiful, which is a big lie, because I actually struggle a lot with dry skin and uneven skin tone. Even though it's not acne, I still have struggled with keeping my skin clear year round and living in the armpit that I called Florida with it being humid and hot and cold it's just all over the place my skin freaks out often but recently during quarantine I took some time to actually learn and understand what you know makes my skin react and like how to kind of keep it under control and I have developed a skincare routine what's been helping me a lot though over the past couple of weeks has been the radiance spin care system from Deval so it looks like this it's a spin care brush and it comes with four interchangeable heads the one I have on here right now is just the small face one it comes with a second face one a large body one and it also comes with a little exfoliator which we all know is great for i have been using this to wash my face a second time after my shower because i've learned that washing your face once with your hands in the shower is just not enough what these brushes do for your face is they unclog your pores they get rid of makeup they get rid of dirt and oil just overall gives you like a nice fresh Base. You do have to put batteries in it, heads up, and then you just turn it on. And I feel so official because I have always wanted one of these, like growing up, like, like the super expensive ones were always like obviously things that we wanted. And I just didn't care enough to do that. Like I just didn't care enough about my skin. I didn't care to invest the money in it. But this is in retail right now for $95. And if you use my code Tatiana and the link down below to shop, you can get 70% off. Seven zero. 70%. I don't know about you, but when I see anything above 50%, I'm on it. With my discount, you can then get this for $28.50 after tax. I'm gonna show you guys how I use it in my skincare routine and then we can move on with our lives. Also, I've been chewing this same piece of gum for like three hours and I chewed it in the shower and I don't know if that's like weird, but like, have you ever chewed gum in the shower before? It's kind of weird. And I'm just gonna put it directly on the brush itself because why not? And then I just turn it on and I just go to town and it feels so good. Like I feel like I'm getting an at-home facial by doing this. Deadass, I could probably do this for like 30 minutes. And if you look at the brush, you can kind of see how yellow it is before. And this is after, which just shows how much I missed the first time around. I'm just going to do this for like a couple more minutes and then we will move on. I kind of like to do it until it burns a little bit because I kind of like the burning sensation. After doing that, my face feels super soft. Oh my god. So to kind of tell you a little bit more about the brushes, um, the one I just used is the Gentle Face Cleansing Brush. You can kind of tell the difference between the bristles on the one I just used. They're kind of more spread out. And on this second one, it's the exfoliating. So the bristles are a little bit closer. The huge one, like I mentioned before, is for the body. So you can exfoliate your arms, elbows, knees. It's great for back acne, apparently. And this just kind of removes dead skin cells from your body. And the last one is the stone attachment. Like I said, you can use it on like your heels of your feet, which I'm not gonna lie, I do do that. Remove calluses on your toes, on your heels. It sounds super gross, but 
It's real life, baby. And some other fun facts about this is it is water resistant, so you can take it in the shower, and it takes four AA batteries, so you have to put them on the bottom down here. And just stick them in, close the cap, turn it on, and you're good to go. It's kind of nice that you don't need a cord, so you can kind of just use it and take it wherever, and it's great for traveling. Like I mentioned, you don't want to miss out on this amazing offer. You can use my code Tatiana and get 70 percent off. This is usually $95 and with my code you can get it down to $28.50. I'll have a link down below where you guys can click on it and shop and use my code because it's honestly a great deal. I wouldn't mention something in a video. As we all know this is the first time I've ever mentioned anything if I didn't think it was worth the time. We're now going to move to my room so I can finish moisturizing and doing everything else. I've showed this a couple of times like on my vlogs like without really explaining it though. I first do toner. Um, this is just the original one. It has no scent or anything. Not gonna lie after using the brush and putting this on it kind of stings because i just brushed the hell out of my face i kind of enjoy the pain i then go in with some eczema cream because i have eczema and i like to put that on the most common spots that i get it i then use the cerave daily moisturizing lotion and i just put this everywhere else on my face if you guys notice when you go to buy this stuff there's a daily moisturizing lotion and then a daily moisturizing moisturizer the labels and everything on the bottles are exactly the same so i don't know if that's like obviously just something to maybe like make you buy the more expensive one which is the moisturizer like i literally compared them side to side and they have the same exact ingredients and then the last step is i take mario badescu facial spray i like to use a lavender one at night something about the scent of lavender puts me to sleep it calms you down it releases the stress and that is how i get my skin looking somewhat decent i'm now going to go eat dinner and then i do homework and then i will doodle on my ipad for a little bit which i'll also show you in a little bit hi it is now almost 10 30 p.m which is usually around the time that i start brushing my teeth and getting myself into bed the past couple hours i ate dinner and i've just been hanging out with my mom watching tiktoks and watching one tree hill and then i also just did some doodling on my ipad and this is usually how i like to end my night is either by doodling and listening to music or reading a book of some sort just because those are like the only two things that get me tired lately i just like look forward to literally coming home and turning on my sad playlist and just drawing i started doing like those illustration things where you take like a photo of your friends or yourself and you turn it into an illustration i have this one that i did of myself this is the first one that i ever did it lacks detail i kind of just did the basic minimum this was my second attempt which honestly was a lot better this is my friend nicole i think this one is by far my favorite i definitely took my time with it then i did this one of my friend jamie which is kind of like in the middle it doesn't have as much detail but it was a very simple selfie I'm trying to learn how to do like the hair better and you know whatever and right now i'm attempting to do one of those the same idea but not the faces so i'm just going to do like the outlines of like the clothing and then the faces are going to be blank this is what i've been working on on. these are the two sketches that's supposed to be my friend Kaylee and then I'm working on myself I'm drawing inspiration from this photo of me and my friends at my 21st birthday party that is what I've been up to for the past couple hours like I said it's almost 10 30 so I usually start getting myself to bed by this time because I have to wake up at 6 30 for work we're gonna go brush our teeth now let's go Look at my pretty nails I did all by myself. So I just put my retainer in and I put my chapstick on and now I'm going to get into bed. This concludes my two day, took me two days to film this nighttime routine. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to click the link down below and shop with Devolve and use my code Tatiana at checkout to get 70% off. Thanks for watching if you made it to the end and I'll see you all in my next video. That's not lip gloss, that chicken grease. Good night, bye.